never saw Dusty so happy. As the day his mum and dad went to Tamworth for two weeks to hear cowboys singing, he said, let the party begin. For 14 days, he wouldn't have to eat anything fresher than a cream biscuit, wouldn't have to sleep, and was at once going to turn a tap on to wash himself. Bye-bye, Thesaurus. Bye. See you, Chewbacca. Look after Dusty. I guess Dustin forgot about his Aunt Ivy. His mum arranged for her to come and look after them. She just got back from India with a fancy rug. She said even though she had friends all over the world, there was nothing more precious than the chance to broaden her nephew's outlook oh. with the cultures of the many civilizations sharing the planet with us. What's this? The traditional coconut and banana soup. We wanted beef. This is what they eat in many South Pacific communities. Oh, you boys are going to benefit so much from my knowledge of the world with all its wonderful variety. What? Come on. Let's all lean into the person closest to us. Everyone knows it, right? Come on, don't be shy. That's it. We're moving down to Ricky's place. You stay here with me, Ernest. This is going to be delicious. We weren't having a party at my place either. Since my dad started spending his Saturdays and Sundays learning rollerblading with Avril's mum, things were pretty quiet. Mainly it was just me and my mum. And sometimes it seemed like it was just me. Lately I've been hanging around a little We were going to the Jumbuck Fun Park today. Hmm. Remember? You were taking me today. Was that today? It's okay. We can go another time. I might go down to the creek and look for lizards. But I'll be careful I won't fall in, Mum. Is that okay, Mum? Mum? Yes. It's fine, sweetheart. That's a pretty goat herd of shoes. My aunt made me wear them. She says shoes are so valuable to them over there that the one family will keep on wearing the same pair of shoes for hundreds of years. Hi, guys. Hey, Goddy. Have you heard the news? I've built myself a boat. What do you want a boat for? River cruises. I reckon I could make a heap of money and make friends too. People always get friendly when they're on a boat together. What do you want to make friends for? I don't know. What's that you got? My mum forgot to wake me up this morning. This is all she had time to give me. I think they're meant to be cooked. Maybe your mum's trying to kill you. I guess she just forgot. She's got a lot on her mind right now. Better to be forgotten than having her wanting to hug you all the time. Oh, don't ever forget that, for sure. <laughs> there you are, Ernest. I've come to take you home for lunch. But I've got my lunch here. I prepared a Japanese feast. But I'm just going to eat my lunch with the Saurus. The many courses of sushi would probably take us most of the afternoon. You'd have to miss out on some school. I love Japanese food. Let's go. We should take every opportunity we can to spend some quality family time together. You're right. We're better friends than that. Cease movement. Where are you going with Mr. Dusting? Home for sushi. Sushi? The little boys and girls in the Hunai province always go home for lunch. And what about your pass? I'm his Aunt Ivy. Aunt Ivy? I know you. And I know you. 1958, Yarra Street Primary. Grade six together. Troublemaker. Tattletale. And you were the girl that nobody liked. Come along, Ernest. You're coming with me. You're much better off away from here. How 
come you hang flowers off the veranda? They're not flowers, they're paper. It's Buddha's birthday. Buddha? He's somewhere in Hong Kong my aunt knows. Coming to school tomorrow? Maybe not. My aunt wants me to stay home so I can learn about the world and stuff. I'm on my way down to the railway gates. A truck lost its load and there's 20,000 ball bearings running loose on the road. I better not. My aunt's giving me a big surprise tonight. I think I got serious booty coming. Master. <laughs> Do I eat it? Oh, poor Ernest, you've lived such a sheltered life. You know, I think you and I should do some travelling together. Just the two of us. That'd be fun. I just like going to caravan parks. What is it? Argus. Boiled intestines stuffed with oatmeal, heart, and stomach of sheep. Delicious. <laughs> That's a stomach? I have to go to the toilet. I'm starving. What's to eat? Hard to say. Maybe something, maybe nothing. I think there's something definitely wrong with Mum. I can't move her for dinner. It's at that time already. That's how it is. I wonder if I've got food. Mum! Mum? She forgot to buy food this week. It's the same with the washing. I haven't washed for three days and no one's noticed. My Aunt Ivy's teaching me how to wash my own clothes with a rock that she brought back from the Ganges River. We've got to do something. We've got to leave. We'll go tomorrow after school. Go where? On Grotty's boat. He can take us on a river cruise. We can ride the river straight out into the ocean and drift our way over to Africa. How long do you think we'd have to go away for? Most of our lives, probably. Well, my dad's never around, and I guess my mum wouldn't even notice if I was gone. Perfect! We could start a new life. We could grow beards and play music and never go to sleep. Unless you want to. We should make a pact. No matter what happens, we stick by each other. We're friends to the end. <laughs> It just looks like a piece of old fence. What time did you tell Grotty? I didn't tell him nothing. I guess we don't have to wait for him then. Let's start loading up. There's something wrong. I don't think I can hold on to these much longer. You've got too much stuff. We'll have to lighten up. I'll hold the raft while you unload. Why can't we get rid of some of your stuff? Because I brought the food. And looking at the water makes me hungry. Haul away and cast off. What? It's sea talk. Captain to first mate. All lines off deck. How come you get to be captain? Because I look like a captain. So long, Buddha! So long, Mum and Dad! So long, tartan skirts and sheep stomach! So long, Millicent! It's still too heavy. There's nothing left except the food. We need the food. Better take off your jacket. I'm not throwing away my jacket. It's new! Please yourself. Either your jacket or your shoes. 
I guess they're wet anyway. Oh, are you taking your shoes off? No way. There's water snakes everywhere. I've heard of people getting their toes bitten right off by snakes around here. I took my shoes off. I told you to toss your jacket. How long do you think it'll take us to get to Africa? I like the other side better. There's something wrong with this river. We haven't gone very far. This will do for the first day. The raft needs a rest, and I've got to eat. Where do you suppose we are? It's some kind of wasteland. Let's set up camp. What are we going to do now? Take your pick. We can do anything we want. Well, it's going to be dark pretty soon. Let's tell each other ghost stories. OK. I've got the scariest one. You go first. Pass over that food. Well, it all started about 80 years ago. There was this fisherman called Big Bob, and he had a crush on a dancing girl called Evelyn, but she was in love with Dexter. So finally, after a while, Bob had enough. He went down and cut Dexter's head off. How'd he cut it off? With a saw and then an axe. But the trouble was, this made Evelyn really mad. So she went down to Bob's boat, and while he wasn't looking, she pulled the plug out. And the boat sank, and they both drowned, and they were eaten alive by eels. Was there anything left? Even to this day, the ghost still wanders the riverbank, looking for anybody that looks like Dexter. And if she finds anybody, she drags them back into her ghost cave and dresses them up to look like Dexter. What did Dexter look like? Nobody really knows. Except he was short. Especially after his head got cut off. And it all happened on this riverbank. Maybe even while we're sitting right now. Dusting, where are you going? We need more food. You stay there and mind the spot. But I don't want to stay here. I want to go back too. The raft goes faster with one. Don't worry about me. I'll risk it. I'll be back soon. I'll never get out of this world alive. For my sweet mama just told me goodbye. Dusty, I just can't how long you will you be? Mind. Now I'm too lonesome, I could cry. Oh, sweet mama. Mama, please come home. Say, hey, good looking with your eyes of blue. I'm a hound at the moon and they're calling you. You're the crazy heart, but I love you so. Why did I ever let you go? It's 6.58. I've been waiting for you since a quarter to four. We were going to the French art exhibition together. But you didn't care, obviously. Not a word. And I was hoping we were friends. Yeah, well, this funny thing happened. Oh, why would you want to be friends with me anyway? I'm just an old bore. People have never liked me. Even at school, no one wanted to play with me. No, it's not like that. I got stuck. Saving kittens. Kittens? Yeah. Baby ones. Oh, you should have told me so I could have helped. You know... I think some of my influence is starting to rub off on you already. I knew you had a big heart. Governments from around the world have reported seeing the strange disc-shaped objects. From Paris to New York, the mysterious craft of Where do these visitors Hello? come from? Hello? it's me. I need you to go down to the river tomorrow and call across to the source. Tell him it's all off and he has to go back home. Got that? What do they want from us? Sure. I tell you, he's 
not himself. He talks to fruit. Apples are his favorite. He's been like this since he came back from the Amazon River. He's no longer human. I tell you, his body has been snatched. The aliens are inside him already. I'll never get out of this world alive For my sweet mama just told me goodbye I just can't get you off my mind Now I'm so lonesome I could cry Oh, sweet mama, mama, please come home Say hey, good looking with your eyes of blue I'll let the moon and the call and you You have a crazy heart, but I love you so Why did I ever let you go? Sitting alone on the lost highway I miss you more and more each day I can't escape from you this way But now I saw the light, everything's okay Oh, sweet mama, mama, please come home 3.30? Well, it's five hours. Of course I have. No. <laughs> okay, he's back. You're yeah, back. He's back. He's back. I threw them overboard. I was going to leave. Leave? To go where? To Africa, probably. But I changed my mind. give you a message. Something about fruit. Dustin doesn't even like fruit. He didn't really sound like himself. He sounded like... like a zombie. Like maybe he'd been body snatched. Hudson, we think he might be missing. Or taken over by higher intelligence. I've wanted to be a drummer ever since I was born. Oh, our family's always been able to keep the beat. I'm gonna dedicate my first song to you. Oh, sweet boy. Come and give your favourite aunt a big sloppy kiss. I've come about Ernest. How is he? He's fine now, he's with me. He's still alive and okay? Of course. He's a prince among boys. Honest, dependable and courageous. Not all the time. And compassionate. Why, just last night he came home late because he'd been saving kittens. Was this uh, before or after he ran away down the river? Hmm? Halt! Tell me again how many kittens it was that you rescued yesterday. Well... You've deeply, deeply disappointed me. But the drums can go back in their boxes. That'll make it easier to get the refund. I expect I'll be seeing Mr. Dusting at school tomorrow. You always were a smug thing. And I remember how you used to sit in the back row and pull my pigtails. You haven't changed a bit. Well, if anyone needed their pigtails pulled, it was you. Excuse me, Iron Ivy. That can't be right, what Miss Hodson said. You didn't sit in the back. You sat at the front. You told me. So you didn't miss anything the teacher said. That's right, Ernest. I did sit at the front. Class 6A? No, 6B. And perhaps you're the other Ivy. The one I used to skip with at playtime. Yes. And you must be the good Deirdre. You used to share your lunch with me. Oh, I feel such a fool. I suppose I've been a little foolish as well. 
I've just made a pot of green tea I bought back from Japan. Could I tempt you? Well, I've always been fascinated by the Japanese tea ceremony. Oh, yes, there's a marvellous little place at the foot of Mount Fuji. <laughs> Try keeping me away. You can keep the bongos. That wasn't real hugging. I kept my fist clenched. Always remember that when you get caught in a hug thesaurus. I thought we made a pact. Friends to the end. I was hungry. I told you what it makes me hungry. Yeah, but you... You're going to go on about this all day or what? Talking's a waste of time, thesaurus. Here, I'll play you a tune I wrote. Dusting says, the difference between a drum kit and bongo drums is that he never gets tired and can play them for four hours straight if he has to. Aunt Ivy said that was OK as long as he listened to her travel tales for four hours straight because, she says, showing an interest is the string that ties families together all over the world. Amazing. You wouldn't believe the things that I saw. Things change for me, I guess. My mum started wanting to hug me all the time and holding my hand everywhere we went. Dusting says that if I'm not careful, I'll start looking at dress patterns and start watching movies about horses and start crying every time one of them gets a sore foot and has to be shot and boiled up for glue. Mama, please come home.